guys, welcome to another episode of Tag Team Recovers. Uh, one of our first hunts for the fall here. We got Daniel back here with us for the first time in the last few videos. Um, got Jeff with us over here driving. But uh, we're getting ready to head out and uh, go check out a colonial site. Got a mixed stuff, Civil War, colonial stuff in it. But um, we're going to see what we can get out of it. I think we should be able to maybe dig a coin or two or something like that. But anyhow, guys, appreciate y'all coming along, and we will check y'all out at the first hole. Hey right, guys, at my first hole here, and first good signal today is part of a harmonica reed. Looks like it's been hit by something, but ought to be more of it around here somewhere, but that's a pretty cool start right there. All right, guys, but we will see y'all at the next hole. All right, guys, my next target here, man. This is real cool. It was hitting real high, man, it was up in the 80s. But check this out. This looks like a colonial bell. Check that thing out. That is real cool. A little chipped on this one side here. But we'll clean that up, man. I get a good picture of that thing at the end of the video here. But that is cool. I like that. We'll clean out some more of it later pretty cool all right guys well, we'll see y'all at the next hole hey guys we're gonna walk over here see daniel you got a nice little find here what you got buddy a skeleton key oh cool deal man look at that complete man it's nice to find those things complete like that bud let's see a little teeth on the end of it where it went into the lock there it's cool bud all right my man good job all right let's see if we can't get some more stuff here y'all the next hole hey guys next signal here for me down probably about eight inches or so but it is a cool brass padlock man still got the door on top of it uh looks like it might still had maybe the key or something in there or where the chain or something was hooked up to it but that is pretty cool i like that piece is there anything on the face of it there on the door Yeah, some letters on there. W, M W and Company. I'm not sure who that is, but I have to do some research on that. But that is a very cool piece. I like that. All right, guys. Uh, Daniel's picked up a couple of little brass tokens and stuff and uh, pieces. Jeff's still working on a few things, but we're digging. So we will see you guys at the next hole. All right, guys. Uh, next piece here. It looks like a spoon handle. I bent up a little bit but that's pretty cool but we're right in the middle of a home site and we're hunting this yard here and it's a ridge line that runs across from it and there's been several home sites in here to date back pre-civil war era so that's why we're finding this stuff up in here the harmonica reeds and stuff like that and a few utensils like this but anyhow alrighty guys well we will check you out at the next hole you know, to add to our lock collection Jeff ended up just getting himself one there the lock for the day yep. pretty cool that's brass too and yep awesome cool a lot of big targets in here yeah. all righty guys well, we'll see y'all the next one all right guys next target here uh, down probably about six eight inches but what we got here it looks like the back and plate to a door it probably went to the house that was here and then the handle and stuff would have gone through there but and then you would have had the big knob on there that went through there but that's the backing plate that went up actually to the door itself pretty cool colonial piece there all righty well let's see what else we can get into guys let's go all right guys you head on over here to see jeff man jeff got him a nice target over the hole here he's just calling me over but all right dude what are we looking at here man a big pan to a shoulder up you look at that man it's the top piece of the pan awesome awesome check that out guys Heck yeah but th this is the part of the pan guys that was part of the shoulder applet and then the uh who's, that's your beep right there turn oh. out and um but anyhow there'd be a set of scales that would come down through here it's like six of them that would come through here and that would actually sit on the shoulder of the uh, soldiers during the civil war but that is so cool unfortunately it was folded over but jeff got it straightened out man but 
that is cool buddy nice find cool yeah. start man awesome awesome man I hope that Boom. Final, final scales go with it. yeah man congrats bud yeah. that is killer heck yeah all right well big brass big brass man let's see if we can get some more brother yeah good job thank you yeah, all right uh next target for me guys looks like a small frame buckle on a frame buckle i'll try to straighten it out a little bit probably went to like a haversack or something like that or it could have been a dress ornamental buckle or something like that so that pretty cool colonial piece all right we will see you guys at the next one all right guys uh catch up with daniel here he just does a nice decent target here let's check this thing out yep what you got there buddy a tent slide awesome yep rope tensioner tent slide uh a lot of these things uh actually are post-war um there's been a couple authorities write articles on these dating them to about 1870 to 1880 but uh, it's what they call a rope tensioner slide for tent. And rope would have gone through there and then back through there and it would have popped down and, and kind of put tension on the uh, on the ropes next to the tents. But yeah, that is a pretty cool piece. Nice big piece of brass and uh, good target, man. Well done, brother. Well done. All right. Let's see if we can get some more. Yeah. All right, buddy. In a little bit. All right, Jeff just walked over here where I'm at. What you got, buddy? It's kind of token. There's RF on that side. Some of that too. Clean her up a little bit. Cool. I guess it's worth 25 cents. Oh, check here. that out. That's pretty cool. 25 cent token. This is fraternity there. That the one word at the bottom, I can't tell. What says at the top yet? Yeah, you can see the 25C right there. Yep. That is too cool. Let me awesome. flip it flip it over again and look at the other side. Too cool, man. Sweet. Like awesome, man. Like nice little token. Yeah. Very nice, bud. Awesome. Hey, guys. See yeah. you in the next one. Guys, boom. I am so stoked right here. My next target I just dug, just totally incredible. And I just called the fellas over. We got Jeff over here. We got Daniel over here. And I want you guys to take a peek at what I just popped up out of this hole. If you can see it sitting down there. Look at that. That is a spur from a Civil War. That's pretty. Look at that, guys. And it is complete, it's man. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks like it's got a piece of leather it right does. there, too, yep. still. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of, it looks like a little bit on that side, too. Oh, oh my goodness what a find what a find whoo that has just made made it right there awesome 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 whoo guys we've been sitting here and we have dug so much trash and scrap brass and stuff and i just literally like 15 minutes ago i told daniel i said just keep hunting keep hunting something is gonna pop out bam there it is man this is awesome. This is a super, super fine right there. That is incredible. I am so stoked. Woo-wee. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get back at it and keep seeing what we get into here, man. There's going to be some more stuff. Hopefully a nice uh, Civil War button or something will pop up. Uh, just a lot of colonial stuff right now. We dug up pieces of uh, furniture tag, uh, house hardware and stuff, doorknobs, padlocks. But uh, we're just going to keep hammering this site here and let's see if we can't get something else out of here, man. But cloud nine right now. Alrighty, guys. We will see you all at the next hole. Alright, guys. Uh, just took this spur right there. And just walked a few feet away and just found myself a skeleton key. Check that out. That is cool. Looks like a little bit different design than the one Daniel got. But we will take that. That's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, we will see y'all at the next hole. Alright guys, we're gonna walk over here and see Daniel. Daniel says he's got silver in the hole. Where we at, buddy? Pull me out there. Let me get a mercury dime. Sweet. 1935. Oh sweet buddy. See if there, see if there's any marks on the back of it. All right. 
Sweet. Nice, man. Looks good. Flip that thing over again. And what'd you, what year was it? 1935. Awesome, buddy. Boom. Silver. Awesome, man. All right, bro. Good job, man. Let's get some more. <coughs> All right, guys. Next signal here is part of an early fork. Brass. Tines are still there, but the handles broke off of it. The uh, rest of the fellas ain't, ain't doing much. And I think Jeff's picked up a flat butt, and then Daniel's dug some scrap brass. But been kind of slow here for a little bit, but we're going to keep on getting it. All right, guys. We will see you all at the next hole. Hey right, guys, next target here. This is real cool. It's like a pocket watch, not that deep. Face is gone out of it. Looks like you still got the little ring at the top of it around the knob. That's cool. I'll get the dirt knocked out of that thing. Probably just right around the turn of the century. The only ones that are earlier in the uh, 1800s. Got little holes in the back of them where they would wind them up and i don't see a hole in the back of this one so this is probably post 1900 so but that's cool but we're getting a good mix of stuff out of here all right we'll see you guys in the next hole all right guys uh caught up with jeff check to see what he's got going on man what you what you got going there buddy yeah, a, few, a few flat buttons some little decorative pin uh i don't know what this is and it's a pretty cool little piece early colonial piece there back of a button that one right there is just filthy loaded with guilt oh yeah look at that would you say that had written on it uh treble guilt uh standard color nice nice man pretty button right there man and you got you another one right there good deal man nice little mix of stuff here oh yeah all right guys well, we'll get back at it and uh we'll see you guys at the next hole Good job, bud. Hey, guys. Uh, kind of looped around a little bit and came back up to where I dug the spur right there. Uh, it's been at least an hour since I dug that. And then just, we've been working all over this hillside here and this ridge right here where Daniel's at and stuff. And finally got me another good signal here. And it looks like I have a military button. And this looks like it is going to be most likely a general service button. And just start seeing the eagle on it right there check that out that is too cool love it yep hopefully there's another one in here maybe a state button or something but with all the other buttons that jeff dug up here i figured one of these had to be in here Alrighty, guys cool all righty we'll see you out the next hole there you guys uh next signal here got a indian head penny Looks like 1888. Too cool. Got some crud on her, but you can see the one cent there. And just about make out the 1888 down at the bottom there. Yeah, right, guys. We will see you at the next hole. Yep. All right, guys, uh, we are having to do this by truck light. Yeah. Uh, we are wrapping it up now, but um, we got a mess of brass and stuff out of this site. Um, basically, man, it's pretty much, it was loaded. A uh, ton of brass, got the watch here. Uh, a couple of locks that I got, backing plates and doors, got the cool little bell. Uh, another backing plate there. Uh, Daniel got a nice big iron lock. We got brass keys. Um, he got a brass key and then Jeff ended up with a pile of buttons right here got the nice token got the two flat buttons a couple of Wheaties got some other mixed stuff right there and then also he ended up with the pan to the shoulder applet and uh, I'll post a picture of this thing at the end what they look like when they're complete shame it was bent over but he got that and of course I got um, the eagle button um, got the spur which is really cool man really excited about finding that man <laughs> great find there uh got a key there and an 1888 indian head penny so all in all man pile of stuff man we had a good time there all right guys well we hope you guys had a good time hanging out with us today jeff 
Congrats on the shoulder after the blade. Yep. And the coins and stuff. Good job with that spur. Yeah, man. Uh, Jeff, uh, Daniel got a nice mercury there. Got a silver brass key. Got a spur. So we got a good mix of stuff right there, guys. Uh, again, thanks to all the subscribers. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And uh, check us out some more. And we'll get some more videos out soon. Appreciate y'all watching.